Hey, hey. So nice to see you all. Alright, so let's talk about it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, you like the purple light? I have another light on on the other side so it's not too dark. But yeah, this is a purple light. It's so cool, right? But I figure it's late so it'll be fun to do a video like that. Um... Okay, I guess I should start. There's a lot. It's, it's a lot. So, I don't really know where to start, honestly. I got this nice aura incense. Look how cool this thing is. I put it in a little seashell. Check it out. Because the smoke, like, look at that. It stays, like, at the bottom. But no matter where you put it, the smoke goes at the bottom like that. This is the coolest shit ever. Hold on, I want to make it see. You see that? That's so cool. And I use little seashells for them. I don't know. I had it. Okay. Life of an empath. So, I've been able to reintegrate aspects of the old self that are useful for this personality or this you know vessel personality so that's super exciting and um, it's giving me more balance as far as um, grounding and humor because I like funny stuff um, not too too crass though because I feel like it gets even though I don't mind humor that's dirty so to speak but there's a certain type that's just kind of vile which I don't like I'm like ew that's so vile ew get away from me okay so I'll start with what happened today <clears throat> so and I want to do I guess we'll talk about two some manifestation blocks on this because I had some major ones this week that were very unexpected but um I had to do a couple of rituals to balance out the energy and I had to fight a huge demon and his name was when I asked him what his name is before I started using the Christ light to get rid of him and when I asked him what his name is he said and I'm doing this literally I was clearing this space and I was clearing the energy under New Orleans and it was this black like dirty blackness though like gunk and it was these hordes of demons and I don't know who opened this portal or if this portal had always been here like this but it was really bad and they were everywhere so I cleared that but then I fell through right into a hell realm which was totally unexpected. I couldn't have, I'm not creative enough. I'm creative as fuck, but I couldn't have um, anywhere in my consciousness even made something up like this because I wouldn't have think that devils actually had the red horns and all this shit and he was huge. He was like bigger than, it was like four big ass buildings in New York on top of one another. And then what I figured out was that his strength was coming from soul shards that he stole from children. What was his name? Well, I'll remember it in a second because I have him in my head. So, um, it was these soul shards that he stole from children. So do you guys remember Inuyasha when they had to collect the shards from the crystal, I think, of truth? These are the spiritual attacks I've been under lately, but I've still been able to work and I've still been able to sort of get things done, but just my manifestation slowed down a little bit. So I had to do rituals to clear all that out because as I have been achieving wholeness and balance within the self and shedding the layers and things, I'm getting attacked from very, very high level. I mean, entities like you all could never imagine, like you would be terrified. 
you would literally, if you could see the shit that I see, you would be terrified. But I have to come up against these entities because it's my job to do so. Like, I came here to do that. And it's frustrating when, like, sometimes I wish I was, like, married or something. But then I know that that wouldn't work. Because then I could just tell my husband to, like, do the human shit and pay the bills and stuff. And I could just, like, do this spiritual work full, like, and that's all I do. Because it's bigger than just us, you know? We're, we're, this type of work changes the planet. Actually, I have the occult tarot up there. His name is in there somewhere, but I should probably get that so I could figure out which one it was. Um, oh, I remember his name. His name was, the, the demon that I fought, his name was Asmodeus. And because when I asked, he didn't tell me his direct name, but he said he was the first Duke of Hell. And then he called himself the Prince. And Asmodeus is the only one that is also a Prince and, a first, and a, the first Duke of Hell. I don't think that the history... Thank you. I appreciate the energy. I was pulling energy from the planet today. Um, from people who leave me offerings. Oh yeah, when you come into your God self, you can pull energy from offerings. Not from people. I don't do stuff like that. But... Um, if people leave you offerings and stuff, it's even better. It tastes even better than food. Um, I'll get into that in a second, though. I'm going to take... This has been a lot. I made it tired as fuck, but couldn't miss it. Peace. Hey, D. Um, this has been... Oh, man. I have so much to tell you all. It's kind of overwhelming. It's making my heart beat really fast. Okay. I'm going to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> so the that this was like the biggest event was fighting the the demon and um he was under there must be some interdimensional space under new orleans that demons inhabit and so i had cleared this huge it took so much energy huge pit because i even though i have the helm of all up and sigils and i use salt and i do all this which helps um conceal the vibration the thing is, when you have stuff, even if it's not of you, if it's of the body, that there's a trauma that is resonating with an archon or whatever. Like, they scan your body. They know where your traumas are. They know about your egregors that are in your mind. They know about where you're fragmented and separated and not, and don't have wholeness because they have like tools and like technology that they use to like etheric tech which is what all this physical tech that we use not that it's bad it's not it's just the manipulative the manipulative aspect of it is um a a dis i want to call it i don't know why i want to call it like a dysfunction um the manipulative aspect of our technology is the it's an inversion of what something that was meant to liberate people is now being used to enslave people um but it's still a battle it's not like it's not like the battle is over um because so many people come on he uh, platforms like this and stuff and they share their voices and they believe in their truth and their sovereignty. So because of this, many, um, it's very difficult for someone, for people that are maybe only a handful to control people who, who decide that they want to speak their mind freely and don't feel bad about it. You know, that's why the, what I was talking before about the virtual, virtue, virtue signaling and guilting and stuff like this was designed to keep you um, enslaved and to keep you from uh, to keep you feeling bad oh yes there's a restaurant called vampire and there were definitely vampires outside I walked by and I felt the vibe and everybody looked at me like this especially these they have really skinny white ladies but they were definitely vampires I could just tell because it almost was like they could smell my aura and they're all just like and I'm like I'm like, whoa, this is fuck. And I'm wearing, you know, I'm not even dressed up. I was just going to Walgreens 
to pick up some stuff. I wasn't part of the party scene. So it's not like they were looking at me because I looked good. I was just wearing like sweatpants and a t-shirt and a jacket with like a book bag. They were like all up on that aura. Yeah, that place is real. Oh, I can... It's not a joke. The vampires are real. They're kind of interesting though. And the thing is vampires... And stuff like that, they're just mis they're a little misunderstood because they were supposed to be necromancers. And necromancers assist with the death cycle. So like, um, if a forest is not cleared of its old trees and stuff like that, a necromancer could help the leaves come down and, you know, assist with the cycles. And then they can pull whatever's left of the life force out of the trees and... Remember I told you that one chick that was following me? Yeah, they're real vampires. It's not a joke. There was, um, I have a friend down here, his name is Ra, and he does have the sun inside of him. I think he might be the real Ra, or a big aspect, because the sun is so big. There's probably a race of people that are Ra. And he was really high energy. Um, and he had, like, um, just such a nice guy. And he, and he, he actually had Ra tattooed on his face, too. Um, but he, um... He was with this chick for a little while. I think he broke up with her now. There was an energy vampire. And I didn't know, so I didn't bring my tools with me for shielding. Like, I would have brought, um, I would have programmed some of my crystals for shielding. Um, I did have my bracelet on with the Egyptian deities, so I could use them for shielding. But I would have brought, like, some sigils with me for, like, Archangel Michael. The only thing I had was to do this one. This one like this which is for power it sends up energy for power like power you know you can use it like spider-man and you can push energy back this way i just have a really hard time setting a frequency of like anger or hate now um it's not really my thing anymore so so yeah i just i, I don't even i just vibrate higher what I do use now though is I'll use my hands as like portals and I'll project the Christ light. It's funny because when I do this I actually feel cold wind on my hands. It's so weird. Like the air is moving out of the way and the smoke started responding but it's, it's a weird thing that I noticed that I always feel cold like, if I just hold it, it's not cold, it's fine. But when I actually project the energy... It creates, like, these vortexes. And you guys can do it, too. It's just the middle of your hand is a portal. And then you can project the energy from your heart. You let it run through your arms. And you just imagine it going out the palms of your hands. And I breathe really slow for this because, you know, you don't have to rush the process. You don't have to be a master magician right away. It's the subtleties. Oh, why are they messing with my live already? I even got the AC on so it's not so hot in here. Um, so the subtle, like the subtleties and the subtle energy is the level that you want to uh, work on because it allows you to control much more and do much more. I would say control, but more like communicate with much more in the reality. So if you can, once you start to become more empathic, so this is right, my life as an empath because I don't like to be around people anymore. I prefer to be in my room alone. Like, like spirits come and visit me all the time. So I'm like never really alone, but is this gonna happen all night? So I'm never really alone, but, um, and when I go out, I have, I meet like interesting people. There was, um, a prophecy that was fulfilled last time I went out too. I have to start the prophecies about me. I have to start cataloging them and paralleling them to situations that have happened in my life. Because what we see as what happens to us as mundane is so divine when you start to put the signs and synchronicities together there's a there's probably a prophecy about a lot of you that you don't know about you know what i mean but once you start asking for 
the signs and you start connecting and you feel into these subtle energies then you can start to compile like a, um, a document almost of okay this is who I am these are the energies that have um, I've been connecting with and then this is what's happening in the reality that confirms my experience of who I am as a god or goddess you know or titaness or underworld deity whatever you are you should not have judgment of the self yes a lot of people get synchronicities through music that's a big one um so when I fell into the hell realm the now this is what I figured out today there was so much that happened today I have to start from the back part of it and then we'll <laughs> You remember the Bobby Hemet lecture where he where he was talking about he was doing these um he was using a Xerox machine to do his pictures and they were getting all these different like anomalies that were coming up on the pictures. Hey Joe. So you remember the Bobby Hemet? Wow, that was Oh, I can do technomancy too. I gotta teach you guys that because you can do like you can do like um sigil you can do like send energy to make your computer work faster and you can i haven't done the electricity stuff yet i mean i have worked with the like the electric system here is really bad so to fix it would take a lot but to um if your lights flicker you can stop them from flickering there's a lot that you guys can do like a lot that you all can do the higher to oh ow <laughs> incense hold on Joe said, um, Rich said, the higher degrees of Freemasonry deals with vampirism and lycanthropathy. The baby eating is the slow walk to those degrees. Got it. But I think that there are people who are genuine vampires who are not really even like that. They're just neck under. Mis now, the lichen thing is interesting because then that's dealing with the wolves and they're real too. Except they're not really, they don't really shape shift. They just take on the spirit of the wolf but a lichen is kind of different so rich you gotta kind of we gotta talk after this because you gotta put me on to that where i could find those i don't know if i want to resonate with the energy but i would like to meet some lichens i think it would be interesting to just sit and talk with them okay so i went to the hell realm and the demon tried to i cut off his i cut off the demons i had like a light sword and I cut off his left hand and he reached into my womb and tried to grab from my left ovary and tried to grab a, a, the whole ovary but he couldn't so he tried to grab just a seed out and he was gonna implant a, a baby demon in there to, uh, like his son like he was trying to create like a son and um, and this was Asmodeus that I defeated and my angels helped me my legions I had legions of angels come in and they've been around so much lately I've been hearing angelic music just everywhere but I did put Azazel at the four corners of the room and I, I call Azazel in a lot to for protection and stuff so he'll make four versions of himself and he'll boom 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 so since he's been around I definitely hear a lot more angelic and like fairy music and stuff like that so I cut off his hand and he because he tried to reach in and uh, he still had the seed and I forgot about it and we, we got rid of all his legions of demons and um, we cleared this space we made it so beautiful and then I had the creation angels come in and they created these beautiful bioluminescent it kind of reminded me of like you remember the movie Avatar at night it kind of reminded me of the movie Avatar at night and I had them create these beautiful like bioluminescent like creatures and things but no, nothing that was sentient beyond a plant because I can still feel that there's so many hell realms around that area that there's going to be demons that are going to come in and infringe on the area again so I'm not going to go back in and clear it um, I may have to just put up shields um, or have certain um, angels guard these areas and the angels really listen like they're really really fucking good like I'm gonna do a video about 
good versus bad angels because I want you guys to know the angels. I'm telling you, they are, they have been with me my whole life. When the OTO did the ritual, the, I don't know, what was it called? The Rites of Babylon? Okay, Rich, we'll talk about it because if I can tap tune into their energy, I can, I kind of can feel them already. There aren't a lot here, but there's a couple, like four or five. They're kind of like, ah, ah, like creepy, but they're interesting. So I want to sit and talk with some of them. Maybe I'll go for a walk tomorrow and meet one. I definitely met an alien today. Um, so that was one thing and then I go outside and I always connect with the trees when I go outside so I went to like the backyard and I'm sitting down and I start singing to the trees and then it's funny because I'll sing and then the wind will come in and then the trees leaves will move and then like I'll send them energy and then I'll know they got it because they do this like celebration and they were all like thank you so much we couldn't hold, like, you remember the, the, the series, the show Dark Crystal? How the tree was trying to hold the darkness down? Um, it was like a blight, but it couldn't. And it was turning everything inverted. Um, like Archons, <laughs> invert everything. Um, but the energy was turning everything. Okay. The energy was turning everything inverted. So the trees here because because what i could see in my mind is that new orleans is like a big crater this area and that the world tree would when the trees were really big on the earth there was a big 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 world tree here that was like a huge portal and i've connected with this tree before which is why it's funny so so like when i went and i went up to look i could see like i was like oh and so i haven't confirmed this yet i have to go and do the research and actually look at um, graphs of the lay of the land and like where there's dents and stuff. Maybe I'll go to Google Maps or images or something and see if I can find it so that I can confirm what I saw. It's always good to confirm your channels and stuff and it, it gives you more confidence in your abilities. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad here. Um, the coldest it'll get is 30, but like it's at night when you're like in your bed, so who cares? Um, so and right now I think it's 55. It's pretty warm. So the, I go outside and I'm playing with the trees and stuff and they're all like, thank you. And then, um, they're like the hand, the hand, you forgot his hand. And I was like, oh yeah, they will, they go the hand, the hand, you forgot his hand. And I was like, oh yeah, I did. So I went back and I used the Christ light to sort of transmute that energy and disintegrate it back into just energy instead of it being a solid being. And I took the, um, and I took the, uh, yeah, I'm not dealing with cold weather. I don't like it. And I took the seed the, that the, the being had took for me. He already put a child in it so I saw the child and I saw that it was part angelic and part and um there we go I saw that it was part angelic and part demon so I transmuted the the part the the attachments that were like um you could say demonic I would even say arconic and so I transmuted it and I sent my baby up to, to be with the angels so the day I went for a walk to and this is all part of like being an empath is like like sometimes you'll get a really really strong bad vibe and like nobody else can understand why you're getting that but like you'll be like nah let's not walk this way but I mean like it wouldn't make sense to anyone else and that happened to me the other day too I was like nah and then I saw this weird like white truck and I was like those people will look like kidnappers I'm just gonna turn around and walk the other way Fuck this so trust your intuition <laughs> and then I didn't see that truck again um yes there is because not all because Lilith is a demon supposedly but she and she something just moved behind me did you guys see that there was something that went like this but it was trying to stay clear 
Oh yeah, I see you. Can you send some to Ohio, please? <laughs> Hi Tay. Um, hey. So I went to to the store. See, this is like more stuff that's been happening. I went to the store and just to get like some cigarettes and a big bottle of water. I got my my water. So I go and all of a sudden there was a lot of people in there but i guess it's saturday night and like even the gas station yes yes she is she's actually like the mother of the underworld um she would be the mother of the underworld but she's not like that to get prepared for your merging and for what you're doing so i want to get more information out and lilith will be in there too and i'm going to channel messages from each dark goddess herself because i've dealt with pretty much all of them so i have part i have personal um <laughs> they're the most potent ones okay i think we're good um so i have personal relationships with these goddesses so i can go ahead and you know get the information on their stories and then give you guys channel messages too so this pdf is going to be which is i say pdf but it's like a mini course because i like to do audio with the courses also and like speak a little more on the topic so i think day one and day two will break down the goddesses and then day three i'm going to teach you how to tap into your own dark goddess energy um so we'll do like tiamat we'll do lilith we'll do um kali obviously um, and we'll just go, we're just gonna go down the line. There is a dark goddess that has no name, and that was one aspect um, of my higher self too. There's many. We we all have many versions of our higher selves, depending on which dimension that they're working on. So, the, and this is this is part of being a multi-dimensional soul and existing in many dimensions and realities simultaneously. Yes. So, you'll all be able to tap into that by tomorrow, which is exciting. And I'm going to, usually three days is 120, so I'm going to give a deal, and I'm going to make them 80, and it's just going to be so much fun. Um, Lilith just doesn't like men, in general. That's why men have a hard time resonating with Lilith. Um, you can work with Medusa though, which is another dark goddess, and I've actually channeled Medusa. Um, she's very childlike and innocent. So, so this one's saying like Hecate has a primordial form. There's a lot of different like dark goddesses that people wouldn't think of as a dark goddess. We can even go through the symbol of the triple goddess and the power of three and just get really witchy, which is fun. I like the power of three sigil. It's one of my favorites. It's so dope. Um okay so I go to the store and all of a sudden right there's all these people in here and I'm thinking because there's all these people in there that that's the reason why my body was like so hot but it wasn't because I walked to the back of the store and when I got my water I was like good I was still a little warm but sec hurt you gotta send me her I'll, I'll channel her too if you guys have ones that I haven't heard, I mean, there's a lot of dark goddesses, but I'm going to do like the main ones I've worked with. Um, so I, I go to the back of the store and get my water and then I was still warm, but my kundalini wasn't like, my kundalini was on fire. It was like I had a pillar of light shooting out of my head. So somebody in there is an activator and everyone's wearing masks except for me and this one old white dude that looks like he doesn't really talk. Um, but he was, but his, his energy, he was so nice. And I'm like, okay. So then I start tuning into, as I'm online, because I have to wait, I start tuning into different people's energies. And I'm like, okay, somebody in here has a very strong energy body that's extremely clear and is an activator. I was like, who is it? Who is this behind me? Get out of here. I had somebody touching me last night when I was trying to sleep too. So annoying. This spirit came and and he kept doing like this, like really soft. And I, I freaked out for a second. I mean, there was this shit I've been seeing that I'm just like, I can't believe this is my real life sometimes. Like literally 
it's fucking crazy but i love it because i know that this is my true self coming through and ex and being able to cut through the veil and see the true reality so i'll get used to it just like all of you will <laughs> we're all gonna have to get used to it so and the only two people not wearing a mask were me and this old white man true story so i'm like it can't be him tune into these two spanish girls i'm like mm. tune into all these other i'm like no it was the old white man and when i tuned into his energy he was definitely a fucking alien and then he can't talk and stuff so he but he has such a nice demeanor and he's such a nice person. He even let me cut him in line, which I, I don't do. Like if someone's just like, oh, go ahead, then I'm like, okay, fine. But I'm not like rude. I'm not going to be like bullguarding people's shit. Yes, you are going to want to get prepared because this shit is fucking wild. True story. Um, so, so that's why I'm teaching you guys so much about shedding the layers and um shedding that's what the, the shadow work course teaches the shedding of the layers of the mental body especially because the mind is so fragmented and then the heart is fragmented and it's just a fucking mess um a mess so it was him it was this old white man and, I, and i'm like that's not his skin he's wearing like a skin suit or something or he, he like designed a human body so that he could walk around and look kind of like normal. No one can tell me anything different because of the energy. He had a very strong, huge blue light body. It was like light blue. I felt this type of... He's not a Christ energy, but that blue light body is an extremely high vibrational being. And they're, yes, hiding in plain sight. And he knew who I was. And I knew he knew because every time I looked at him and I'm looking around and it was almost like, I don't know if he was telepathically like scanning me, but there was this weird resonance where it was like me and this dude, we were on the same page. Almost like I had known him forever. Just like, what, I, I wonder if he was an angel. Since I have Azazel here, I want, I really think this dude was like an angel that was just like disguised in a human suit. And picked the most unassuming like random white dude suit so that nobody would think anything. They would have to feel it so that they would know. It was crazy. And, and I, I, I sensed some of the insectoid, um energy on one level of consciousness but then i also the true nature of this being is a beautiful blue and white light body that's like gorgeous gor like his uh, gorgeous energy my kundalini was fucking top of my head like shooting out and as soon as i walked outside boom it was it was back to normal and i'm like Cause I'm not, obviously I'm not trying to activate my energy like that when I'm out, but like you can't hide energy like that. You can, you can put on a disguise, whatever, you know, most people are not awakened, so they're not going to feel it. But no, this was a fucking alien, bro. It was an alien or it was an angel. It was definitely some sort of interdimensional being. And I'm like, damn, you motherfuckers are really around. I'd be calling the angels too, you know, like I hang out with them. There's so much, there's so much fun. Um... Okay, so there's that part, right, that happened today. So then last night was like a whole fucking adventure. I'll probably have another adventure tonight, but last night was a whole adventure um, because first I'm trying to sleep and then the spirit is poking me, but first when I lay down, I look up at the ceiling, like I turn all the lights off to sleep in the dark. I typically don't like to turn all the lights off because when I look around in the dark, I see all kinds of shit and I'm like not in the mood for it, but I'll dim them so that they're really, really low. Um, but I don't like to turn it all the way off because it freaks me out a little bit, even though I sleep better when they're all the way off anyway. Um, Cause I want to like rest and I don't want to be bothered. So um, I turn all the lights off 
and I look up at the ceiling and I see like a and I'm like what the fuck is that there was literally like something trying to scan the ceiling and the hell there are helicopters and drones that they send out at night that do this shit that scan you you have to say you do not consent they will absolutely fucking scan your energy while you're sleeping so set up your shields and stuff before you go to bed and that shadow work course also has a section on um, shielding and then sigils and all kinds of spiritual techniques and stuff you can do for clearing that shit is worth way more than i mean it's worth probably like at least a thousand bucks just the little stuff that i put in there and then if i literally went and expanded on it and did like um workshops and stuff with people it would be fucking incredible because everybody would be adept by the time they left if even if i did a workshop just for like a weekend um but i look at the ceiling and it's like and i'm like what in the fuck is this shit i've never seen this before and it was like there was this force field, but it was it was like a wave, and it was it was so weird. And and I'm like okay, so I finally get to sleep, and I have this dream, and it's Shiva, and he has these long beautiful dreadlocks, and I could his dreadlocks felt so like this reality feels like a fuzzy dream compared to wherever I went where I was dancing with Shiva and I was um I was dancing with Shiva and it was the realest thing that I had ever felt in my entire life and I think I was dancing in my sleep because I remember I was like moving around and that's what woke me up because I started like really dancing in this body um and I go and I look at him and I go am I Shakti and he goes, yes. He goes, yes, Shakti, come dance with me. And I go, okay. Oh, it was so amazing. It was so pure. It was like, it was like the best thing. It was so innocent and so pure and so beautiful. And I just remember the feeling of his hair. Like he has these beautiful dreadlocks that he throws around like this. And they like, kind of like wrap around you when you dance with him. And like it was it was more real. Like I could touch any physical thing here. And it would not feel as real as what I experienced dancing with Shiva as Shakti. Oh, that was just like, like this, this, it just shows me that this, there's no way this fucking reality is the, is a true reality because it's definitely a construct. Cause what I experienced was a true reality. It wasn't a construct. It was real. It was, it, it was like, it was real and it was more dense, like that earth energy and density, but it wasn't harsh. Nothing here is really harsh though. Because when I look around, I can just see that everything, like you look, I'm looking around right now and I'm just looking at things and I'm like, no, everything's too fuzzy. For everything's too, it's just, it, yeah, it feels solid, but it, but it isn't. Like I could just, I just know. I can't wait for you guys to have experiences like this. You're going to lose your shit. Um, and then I had an experience today, so not too much has changed, you know, meditation, masturbation, but I have my meditation music on. I can't watch porn because it just makes me laugh now, so, and the energy's too dirty. Can't have sex anymore because the energy, like, people's energy bodies are not healed, and I can sense it a lot deeper, so it wouldn't be fun for me. It would be like, I would feel like I want to throw up. Like, it, ma it makes me physically sick if somebody with a poisoned energy body, like, wants to, like, hug on me or, like, be close to me for too long. Like, I will feel sick. I can clear their energy, but I have to consent. You know, they have, well, they have to consent for me to do that. Um, and a lot of people have so many layers that they have to shed that... It, and that was part of being an empath like when somebody's energy body and stuff is unbalanced you can feel it in such a visceral way in so much more of a real way than other people can and they think like you're crazy and you're like no you're not you you don't realize that this is not real 
Like, the soul in that body is real. That body is not real, but the constructs and shit this person has placed upon themselves through fucking feeling guilt and judging themselves and judging others and allowing themselves to be judged by others. all And then all this fucking trauma that they had from childhood um, that's still stuck in their energy body, like... And then the blame, the blaming others and not taking personal responsibility. There's a lot of fucked up shit going on, but it has to be, because the frequency on the planet is getting lighter, it has to be cleared, you know? It has to be cleared. This cannot go on like this. It's impossible. It's too poisonous. You think pollution exists on the planet because... Yes, and I can feel it way more than I used to, like... Like, when, before I merged, I was able to feel, but, but I could turn it on and off. And obviously it has nothing to do with this stuff. It might have a little bit to do with diet, though. I did have chicken. I had jerk chicken today. A little bit, though. And then I had, um, like a green drink and, you know, an, um, like a bowl, like an acai bowl. It's not really acai. I think instead of acai, they use dragon fruit with like all the fruit on top. But fruit is one of my favorite frequencies. It tastes so good. So if you guys make altars for the Great Mother, um, leave some fruit. I'll come and I'll pull that when I'm having um, times. And then what I do when I pull energy from people's offerings, then I give them energy back too to like help their lives. There was an offering that a little boy in some like third world country left me. And I went to him... And it was like this little wood like toy that he made but it was only like a little wood here and then like a little stick sticking up at the top and he goes to the, up to the altar and he says mother this is all i have and i started to cry because i was so filled with honor and compassion for this little soul that this little spanish boy with like with like um straight hair straight black hair and like these big eyes and he um he left me such a beautiful offering and I it was the strongest one because it was so innocent and it had the most love and I sent him so much energy for healing and love and just so things go well for him um, because how, how could you not appreciate a being like that like so pure and so innocent and so poor and the poverty has to end because these people don't deserve to be impoverished. They don't deserve to be enslaved like this. They're so beautiful. But when you go into your God self, you'll be able to do this. That's why I'm telling you guys this stuff. It's not because I want to fucking um, seem like I'm better than you or whatever. It's because I want you to be prepared and not afraid when you die. You're going to die, You're, but not physically, obviously. But your ego is gone. Your old self is gone. You will retain aspects of your old self, but it's gone. When you do this and you do it correctly, please, 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 please. If you are not healed, do not try this. You will get possessed. You have to be healed and you have to be on a certain level of consciousness. You can do it slowly. One step at a time. I had to do it slowly still. One step at a time. And you'll get there. You, you are all being called to embody your God self. And it's coming. And it's okay. And it's okay to be scared. And it's okay to be like, holy shit. Because when it hits you, you're going to know that you're, you will never be the same again. Literally, I bought a reading the night before the merge happened. From Ricky. Ricky, I think Ricky's probably asleep right now. Ricky Bobby. Um, so it's one of my really, really good friends. He does a lot. He helps me a lot with stuff like, like he's on levels that other people can't tap into because they're not aware or awakened as he is. So like when you're on a certain level, you take more of a responsibility as far as what you need to do in multidimensional realms. Um, because the other people just can't do it yet. Yeah, people are feeling it. I've had so many people saying something's different. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to merge too. 
and they wouldn't use those terms even people who haven't been watching my videos that i'm close to will be like yo i'm gonna become my higher self i can feel it like people are this is a real energy that a lot of people are feeling um so i want you all to be prepared and i'm telling you these stories and stuff so that you can know what it's like on the other side of this you know you're going to be more empathic and sensitive than you've ever been in your life exactly look gail and a lot of people are like i feel like i feel like i can't stop this from happening and you can't and you must and oh my god if you guys saw i put the link for the email that i did and Miss Santham Huerte, Santham Huerte has been helping me so much. I honor her so much because she's really been, and I'll talk about her too in the PD, the Dark Goddess um, uh, course that I'm putting out tomorrow, the Dark Goddess Pantheon. Santham Huerte, you guys need to get with her. But do not disrespect her energy. She will fuck you up. I promise. Most of these goddesses will fuck you up if you disrespect, honestly, because they're all very powerful. And the Kali, I, t I don't like to be fucking like whatever, but if you're not an original soul, there's no stopping this. It's happening to everyone who's awake. And then the people who are not awake, they're going to feel their heart beating so fast that it's going to scare the shit out of them. Because the true self is coming online and they have no fucking idea what's happening to them because they have not been studying, they haven't been into this information, they haven't been doing the spiritual work, they have so many fucking filters. Could you imagine all that stuff and their ego is going to fight against it so hard that they're probably going to die? Yeah, Santa Muerte has been helping me so much through this. Like, she has been an angel. I have the Santa Muerte tarot. And um, in the email I did, I, I did a world reading because I was like, I feel like, you know, I want you guys to be prepared when it happens to you because this shit is no joke. This is the true death. The true death is not the physical one. The true death is of the old self, of the personality. <laughs> I love Santa Muerte. I don't even use the Apollos. I just got the book on Apollo just to read about them and learn about them. You want to learn about everything. Um, I do like Urzuli's energy too. Urzuli is so... Uh, I went to a voodoo... Like this voodoo shop had like a voodoo mu museum here. And I went and I, I just... Man, I loved... I loved her altar. Like she is so amazing. Definitely that time I'm in the healing part. Went to NC for a couple weeks. The crows are good too. I'm going to explain to you guys something about crows. They protect you and they let you know when there's evil spirits around. So before I did this major clearing in New Orleans, like now, I literally would hear crows at 2, at 2 3 a.m. So I would know that there was a spirit outside my window, but because of my sigils and my shielding, they couldn't get in here. But these, these are conic spirits and stuff. Or these arconic energies, because they're not really spirits, because they're more like AI. Um, they, they when you have a lot of light, they can't handle my light. But they'll still, if there's unhealed constructs in the body, they'll still try to find a way to siphon your energy. So before I had the battle with the demon, we're going to talk about the interdimensional witches that I had to fight. And, and had to kill them too. So, so this is why I've had such a crazy week. And then I found out that my energy channels that I created for manifestation, where I can pull in energy for manifestation and stuff, they were being blocked by all this gunk. And it was like this AI, archonic energy. I call it demonic energy. I know it's a misnomer, but it's like this fake demon energy. It was stuck in my, they put it in my energetic channels because they know who I am. And they're like, we can't have her getting powerful and we can't have her here fucking manifesting shit and fixing the planet because they're fighting really hard right now to keep it the same. But this is a battle they cannot win because the frequency, if you look at the Schumer resonance, it's been off the fucking charts lately. The power of it, you have to look at the power and the Schumer resonance. And I have to find 
someone who breaks it down really good so I can share the link with you guys because they make these scientific terms and stuff and when you go read the graph you don't really know what it means and they do that on purpose so that the average person can't read it like when I talked about the solar flares in the first I think I think that was the first day of the shadow work course I went in on the I talked about the solar flares um, David Wilcock when he was doing wisdom teachings on Gaia if anyone wants me to send them a couple of those um, let me know because I have an account on Gaia and I can send you guys links to videos and stuff for free like um, like you can view it people outside of Gaia um, can view it so then you can view it for free like if you wanted to know about a specific topic or whatever just message me and I'll send it to you you know and there was this one um, episode he did on wisdom teachings which was a few years back but he was talking about how he found um, NASA had information yes just message me and let me know what you want and um, because I have a paid account I can send you the links for free and you can still view the video so that you know that's their way of being able to like get new subscribers and stuff because they're like oh yeah if people share this with their friends then we'll have more people on the platform it's only like like six bucks a month I think or something but it's worth it because what you learn there is just I can find little shit there about um, sacred technologies and stuff when I'm making my own sacred technologies I want to develop sacred technologies and stuff, but I need more funding. So if anyone wants to help me with funding or getting funding so that I can start experimenting and buying materials, I would really appreciate that. There's a lot that I want to do because I want all of you to be able to tune. Like I want to create rings like me and Joe were talking about this. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but we came up with some, I got channeled messages about these materials I can do for rings that actually in the sun they'll charge up and they'll charge your energy body and I figured out how to make them and no one else has this technology and then I want to make um, magnetite necklaces that use um, like magnet ma magnetite a certain type of uh, metal it's great for increasing your magnetic field in your body and I, and I want to use it with certain crystals to amplify the energy so that you can have uh, more control over your energy. Like, there's all kinds of stuff that I want to do. But I need funding for it because I can't do, you know, I'm one person. And everybody thinks that I'm, I don't know, a fucking novelty or that I'm fucking like a weirdo or something or that I'm lying to you. But no, like, I can show you physical, physical, even though this isn't really physical. This is not the physical reality, it's a construct, but I can show you proof. I can show you, I can do the energy work on you. I can do sessions with you and change your life. I've changed a lot of people's lives. 45 star reviews, have you ever seen that before? Like, literally. So, I'm gonna relax now. But that's just been one thing that's been on my heart that's been bothering me because I'm like, I don't know if people think that like, this is a joke or that like, it's just weird and interesting, so I'm going to watch it and whatever, whatever. I just hope that you all take messages away from this stuff so that you can take it into your life and so that you can empower yourselves because it's so important right now. Um, but that's like, you know, me ranting, but rant over. <laughs> um... I don't know how I'm going to get funding. I have to manifest it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I want to create these sacred tools for you guys. And I need to create prototypes. And I have to work with the... And there's certain like... Ugh. Anyway. So, um... Okay. So the next experience. The interdimensional witches. We're going to go back to that. So then... There was, they were, they were, they, this is, was their plan. They figured now that she's here in the physical, we can't really infringe upon her energy body anymore because she's doing all this clearing every night. I'm clearing, I'm clearing, I'm clearing, and I'm just transmuting and pulling in more energy of my higher self, pulling it in, pulling it in, pulling it in, you know, really grounding this new energy onto the planet. I was called back. When they did the Rite of Babylon, the OTOs, they called me back to the planet. But they didn't really do the ritual right. I really feel like somebody else redid the ritual. Like, 
um, brothers and sisters, we'll put it that way. They did the rituals and they had the energy to complete it. But these people were on the forefront and, and got that information out there, the, even the idea to just do it. So I have an inkling that somebody else really completed the ritual with more power and energy, but that these were the first people and they did, and they started it in January. My birthday is January 11th. I think they started January 4th. I'm a life path number four. Like there's so many fucking connections for who I am. It, it bugs me out. And uh, one dude who was involved in all of this stuff, um, he started channeling the the whore of babylon but and what did she call herself she called herself the empress i was like this motherfucker was communicating with my higher self and the book they said he channeled was so powerful that people would read it and go crazy which we wouldn't read it and go crazy it's because they were inorganic beings that were trying to transmute so that they could become organic which is beautiful that's a beautiful thing to try and do i that's hard that's that's being an alchemist Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. He said, unfortunately, most either think it's a joke or think it's another person saying they are X, Z, Y. Those of us who know the truth feel it. Not many like us will get that you are here and in this particular vessel, our dear friend. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for honoring me. As you honor me, I honor you. Thank you. Um, something just moved over here. This trying to hide. I'll catch. I, I'm gonna sage you, you bitch, later. So you better leave. Um, so the interdimensional witches. So first we had this whole thing that, and then there was some dark magicians. I'm not supposed. Mm, if you're, I wouldn't say I'm not supposed to, but if you're, they're so well cloaked, the dark magicians, that they um they're fucking good man they cloak themselves so well the interdimensional witches do it good but these dark magicians there was two black figures that were like smoke and then there was a man that was oh he is so mad i'm talking about this right now i can feel him do something bitch i control everything here try it um <laughs> He was like, nah, never mind. But he was wearing a green cloak. Like a green, like it looked like velvet almost, cloak. It was dark green and his pants and everything were like this green color. And they were doing this ritual on this oak tree. And they were poisoning the reality. So there's some very, and they're underground. But, and, and they poison the roots of an oak tree and they mix some turpentine in. I heard something. I don't know what it is, though. That kind of... <laughs> here we go. Um, here we go. I'm, I'm not doing this tonight. I'm going to call Archangel Michael, and I'm going to chill and let him... <laughs> let him handle it. I'm not doing it. I'm not fighting with them tonight. Um, and then there was a... The interdimensional witches with story, and I saw them on multiple timelines. On one timeline, they were all white ladies. On another timeline, they were black. And they're very, very ancient witches. They've been here a long time, and they operate between dimensions, like the way the Fae do. Yeah, I heard it too, and I was like, don't make me get down on all fours and start growling, because I will go the fuck off. I've, I've actually battled, like, demons and all kinds of shit in the woods and shit before i get down on all fours and i start and go the fuck in on them they'll get scared they'll leave <laughs> i do crazy shit like like and you gotta yo you gotta just do the craziest shit like just do it if your fucking intuition is like this is what you need to do to battle these energies bitch it doesn't matter how crazy you look just do that shit i'm telling you it's gonna be worth it um so, I have to start ignoring them. Yeah, I do crazy shit. I go off. I actually, because my dad has uh, wolf energy, and I think we have some wolves 
in the Congo Lee's line, but like from Cuba though. They're not from the Congo. They're somewhere in between that they were created. But that bloodline, I heard it too. And I'm like, oh, you bitch. I see what the fuck you're trying to do, you bitches. I gotta stop giving them energy though. So the interdimensional witches, it was crazy. They were attacking a another timeline where the childhood abuse that I had, it's like everything in the room is so intense and it almost feels like the walls are watching me right now. Like, what are you talking about? But I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Um, so they were on a different timeline and they were, um, Archangel Michael come. Alright, Azazel, go the fuck off then, because you're stronger than him. Metatron, come through. Thank you. Alright, the angels took care of it. See, that's how easy it is. Um, so they did, they, they, what they did was, there was another timeline where my childhood abuse, the, this body's childhood abuse, this lifetime's childhood abuse, not, it's not mine. I'm not going to take ownership of it because I already worked through the trauma of it and released it from my cells, uh, from the cells of this body. So you got to learn to talk like that. It takes a little bit of time. Um, so the they were taking like that aspect of myself and they were siphoning energy off of her because she had a week from a different timeline and she had a, a very weak energy body so i kept closing the portal that they opened and i was wondering why i kept opening back up and then i channeled through and i he and i healed her and then after i healed her i i was i was able to totally just get rid of that energy and I and I created a new timeline for her where none of that stuff ever happened literally I started like <clears throat> like coughing I reached in my throat I literally pulled out a piece of hair out of my throat I was like what in the actual fuck is going on it was red and it was a perfect circle and I went to burn it and I dropped it and it fucking disappeared I could not find that shit for nothing and it's not like I'm in a big space or it's messy or whatever. I'm by the sink. There's only like a little sheet here to go in, you know, t just to close off in front of, you know, the under part of the sink, whatever. You put a little skirt or whatever on it. And the floor, it was gone. It literally disappeared. I was like, this cannot be my life right now. So I got to see what ended up happening with them. Because I didn't destroy their other timelines that they have. So they're still out there, but they're probably not. And, I, and they're not really bad. They're probably just not going to pull on my energy anymore. But they did it really slick. Because it wasn't this body. It was another body that was another timeline with the same lifetime that was a more. And it was an energy I hadn't tapped into because I don't really get depressed and stuff. So because I'm not at that lower frequency, I just didn't see that. You know what I mean? was crazy so then there was that so I, I fought like three wars this week how and um, that was crazy that took a lot of energy and then I had to start doing these rituals every day I did three rituals at night in a row All right, I'm probably gonna do another one tonight just for clearing but I'm kind of tired so I might just take my crystals and do a grid over my crystal grid meditate and go to sleep and then just do some shielding before I go to bed um let me think what else happened oh another one I told you guys about this when I woke up and I heard pan playing his pipes outside that was like the best that was really nice when pan was there 
and then for weeks I was getting like these weird entities and shit at this window over here like I could feel the energy and I'm like who's like looking in my window literally like they would be so excited to like just look in my window and see what I'm doing and I'm like can you guys leave me alone please I, I would appreciate that thank you I was getting weird ass visions and shit those visions are gone now that I cleared this body um they send you all kinds of stuff and that's why you have to tr clear your heart and trust your heart because when your mind is so fragmented and when you can't balance and use both hemispheres of your mind when the communication is not working um and i taught you guys a technique too for rebalancing the mind and the shadow work course if i'm not mistaken there's and you can do a water bowl technique there's a lot of techniques you can do to clear your energy there's a lot of techniques you can do which is a fun one because you really really get into that so do you guys have any questions i mean that's the stuff i can oh there was one more thing before my phone like actually dies i realized okay so i was led to watch this video from bobby hemmett and he was talking about how the, the return of the great mother and how she would be in america she would be assisted but you know i came incognito as they say so but i have both sides of my family puerto rican and cuban and he was talking about they would be like the caribbean and and it's like he knew that it would come the energy would come from the caribbean through the diaspora and he even said diaspora and then it would end up in america and um and he said that this this woman would have the cosmos all the lineages dna and everything in, inside of her and i'm like okay but i don't really have everybody's dna but i have access to everybody's dna you can i mean i've i've many of my clients are very very high level entities i can call them high level entity soul family but they're they're the most elite i would say on the planet like i and i feel so like just lucky that I even I've had two Reiki masters that I've worked with and have done energy work with and that is like a high honor and for, for, for even um, merging with your higher self is a uh, um, Joe just Joe you need a book of reading this week me and you are gonna talk because I'm gonna I'll teach you some techniques and I'll clear it for you too and for you is probably some inner child stuff that's coming up and um, we already talked about other people's energy so you've been doing good on that you still have to do a little more clearing though um, so I did okay yeah that was the meditation masturbation thing I was gonna tell you about and I was working with Anubis so I called Anubis and I look at him and it's like I could see him with the dog ears and big muscular body and everything and I said hey be gentle with me he said okay I was like thank you and he starts pulling energy but I let him because he needed to because he does a lot of work for me Anubis is fucking everywhere and does I just felt him come in hi <laughs> I love you too <laughs> he's so loyal like I call him and he's like hey when he has time when things are a little quiet um change my life in my bank account tell him about it <laughs> she said girl that manifestation through masturbation it sure does so uh um so i do this i have my meditation music on and um anubis comes through and all of a sudden it's like my left ovary I could feel was like a whole world of its own. It was a really bright like sun or I don't even know. And then right next to it, inside of me, I saw Sirius. But it's like I was there. It wasn't like, oh, I went to this realm through meditation or whatever. Like, I'm there. It's real. It's real. Like, I don't know how to explain to people how visceral and real these experiences are it's not just like oh i had a vision it's like bitch i was there okay i was there this shit was crazy and um i start he okay so anubis comes from a dimension that is above sirius he's a little he's more primordial than the syrians 
themselves so but he but he comes through that portal when he's working on earth and stuff so he starts pulling this energy from me and i see all these stars and galaxies and planets and i'm like all this shit is in my womb what the fuck i couldn't believe it i mean i i can believe it but and then that connects into what Bobby Hemmett was talking about because he, he was, and I'm not thinking anything of this. I'm just watching the lecture and in the lecture, he's talking about how there's going to be a sister that has all the, all the planets and the whole, everyone's DNA and the whole universe inside of her womb. And remind you before that I could move my, the, the, the portal to 9D, I could move it to my womb when I had sex so I would literally when I had sex with someone I would transport them to home which is why men are always like oh my god it's like they know like intuitively they're like hey can you take me home what's up I heard you were the mothership and I'm like go away I'm scared <laughs> your frequency is fucked up I'm good I I don't feel like carrying your baggage for you um <laughs> I'm terrified not scared scared but could just kind of like no <laughs> no thank you um and it was crazy synchronicity that i would be listening to this oh okay good it came back it was just a crazy synchronicity that i would be listening to this lecture just a couple of days before then oto stuff popped up and i started watching videos on that then i fucking had this experience where I, ha I have the whole universe in my womb and I and I didn't know and I was wondering why I was getting so obsessed with clearing my womb um and I want all of you to tap into it too I don't want it to just be me I want all my sisters to tap into this like and whatever part of the universe you rule or whatever part of the multiverse you rule or Whatever, you, whatever, wait, shit, if you can tap into all of it, go ahead. Because everybody is the mother. That's the secret. It's not just me. I'm just the vessel. Every Well, this body is just the vessel for the energy to lead the way so that all of you can begin to carry the torch and the wisdom forward. You know what I'm saying? We have a big destiny. And that's just the greatest gift in my personal life humble opinion um that was one that blew my mind and also you remember i made the post about squaring the circle and i said i am that i am i am the squared circle i am a miracle because squaring a circle is impossible so i met some dude and i don't know i just started hanging out with him he was like you want me to give you a ride home and i was like no but i was like he has good energy though he's not like a creep I was like, do you want to go for a ride or something? He was like, yeah. So I, I literally just hopped in his car and I'm like, okay. So we start talking and stuff. He's spiritual or whatever. And I start seeing him, the way his energy moves. And when he speaks, his mind, instead of it being a spiral, and this is a brother, it's actually going in squares, like geometry. And when I was in the car, and this was like two days after I made that meme. I'm in the car and I'm looking at him and I was like, this is a miracle. And he's like, what do you mean? And I said, I am that I am. I am the squared circle. I'm a miracle. I said, this is the squared circle. You're the square. I'm the circle. And he was like, it was like this moment where he obviously didn't know all the language and stuff. So he didn't know what I was, what I meant by that but he's in tune with his heart so he could feel it and he was just like who are you i was like i am god and he was like you are he said you are god and i was like i know <laughs> um and i said so are you and it was just like this crazy synchronicity of circling the square in the physical reality so it was and we saw like a gold lamborghini like when the fuck are you ever going to see a random ass? Oh no, it was a gold Ferrari. So there were all these little symbols that were popping up as we were driving. Like there was a black lady that was wearing all blue. And then down the block you see another one wearing all red. And I'm like, 
Together they make purple, the crown chakra energy. And then I happen to be talking right now and I decided to put my purple light on today. So it was all these, this whole ride was like all these crazy synchronicities. And that night I actually spoke to like four people. I'm just walking around. I went to Hex and got some herbs for some rituals. And I went and got like, you know, um, some incense and stuff. And I'm just like giving people all this wisdom and uh, I'm sitting like talking to people and he was like the last person I met. And it was like crazy. And I feel so lucky and so honored. And you will all be able to tune in and tune into your own mythology. And some of you are such ancient deities that there's no words for what you are you just are that's why we say i am that i am because we are and you'll be able to create your own name and create your own mythology and truly live in that reality of that mythology of that which you truly are and i just want to get that message out because i don't want people to be jealous of me i know a lot of people carry a lot of envy and stuff and this is not what that's about it's about just telling you my stories so that you can become empowered so that all of you can go ahead and be the most perfect version of yourself because you understand that even though the body is tainted the soul is absolutely perfect so my phone's gonna die so i'm gonna get off but um i love you all um dark goddess pantheon coming tomorrow um if you want it you know you want to first dibs on it i know a couple people um left comments on the posts and stuff that i put up so i'll i'll make sure that i get to them but just message me after so that i can um let you know when it's ready so i love you guys i'll talk to you soon this was super inspiring and i hope that i just got some of you guys excited about the path that we're going on yeah, hate is for the weak, and it's not about envy. Like, we're all goddesses. We all have these amazing stories. We all have these amazing abilities. You know what I'm saying? Goddesses and gods. And it's time for us to all begin to tap in. I'm not the only one that's discovering my mythology. All of <laughs> Miss Love, I know you are on it. I don't want that goddamn... Okay, I'm going to do probably four or five of them tomorrow. Or, I don't know, I'm so charged up, I might start tonight. And because I want to get it out early and I got to pay the rent. So, you know, those orders help. Rent is due tomorrow. I'm going to need a little. I might even go live because I need a little. Got to pay those bills. <laughs> Which is funny to me because I've never wanted for anything. Not in any realm. So, like, this whole play system of monopoly money and bills is just. I find it kind of comical. Yeah, it is anti-drip. It's so stupid. No, these stories are to inspire all of you and to open your mind. To... Oops, you saw it? And to open your minds to what is truly within you. He said, pay them damn bills. I got to give Kali his $20 back. He loaned me 20 this week. You know, we're just going to be really fucking transparent. But I'm not trying to get kicked out. So I need to pay my bills. Um, I had that fucking, I had these fucking archons and shit blocking up my manifestation portal. I've never had that happen before. Because they were so scared of these messages getting out and so many people waking up. Because even though it seems like, okay, there's only 10 people on here. Even though it doesn't seem like a lot, these messages, you carrying a light and a frequency. And it's affecting everyone around you. And if you think, and then other people will see this on YouTube. Other people will see this on Instagram. Like the light that you're carrying affects hundreds. <laughs> I'm going to give it back. I don't do stuff like that. Um, he's like, you keep that 20 girl. I got you. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to get up off here. Um, I love you. I honor you. I respect you as always. Um, I am that I am. Take that to the bank. I love you. Peace.